it, it better be an important message. <laughs> <laughs> Neither will C's 150th anniversary for 12 years in a row. Woo! That's why No Red Tape's recent projection of Columbia protects rapists and rape happens here was particularly symbolic. Just like Je Suis Charlie was symbolic of solidarity for people who bite fingers. <laughs> It was a powerful statement projected on the building at Columbia most representative of a sexual assault epidemic ignored by the administration. Or, sorry, second most representative after Beta House. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. Man, those rats sure do a lot of raping. <laughs> Jesus! But, 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 but it wouldn't be a Columbia anything without controversy. We in the band were always under the impression that protests were supposed to trigger change, not people. <laughs> and, for, and for a group whose basic purpose is decreasing sexual assault at Columbia, it seems counterintuitive to broadcast the message, Columbia protects rapists. <laughs> Creepers is now thinking, yes. <laughs> I will go to Columbia after all. The dining halls only got a B minus on College Confidential. But at least the admin will have my back on the rape thing. <laughs> then, then there's the issue that most people, especially survivors, don't want rape thrust upon them as they're walking around campus at night. In fact, it seems like people who don't want rape, people don't want rape thrust upon them as they're walking around campus at night should be the first sentence in No Red Tape's mission statement. And despite the fact that a systemic problem like sexual assault is the accumulation of many terrible, heartbreaking stories, so much of the discussion at Columbia and the New York Times, Jezebel, Rolling Stone, Pro Bible, and Sleepy's Mattress Monthly Newsletter <laughs> Only two people and one night, August 27th, 2012. Yes, the 840th anniversary of Henry the Young King and Margaret of France's coronation. <laughs> Look at you. That was me. Ultimately, when you reduce your movement down to a single case, the scope of your message becomes as narrow as a twin XL. <laughs> Exclusively on those individuals in that one night allows clickbaity outlets to hinge the movement on the success or failure of one case. Like a brown student taking their one test in Cannabis 101. <laughs> puff, puff, pass, fail. <laughs> Listicles titled 12 Disney GIFs that prove that Emma is the only person fighting rape. <laughs> or, on the other hand, five reasons Emma's a slut if Columbia loses its case against Jean Paul. None of that really helps the cause. But, lucky for news websites, just mentioning her name brings in a metric dick ton of clicks from, from meninists, women with undercuts, and sentient fedoras. <laughs> To be clear, we're not discrediting Emma or her case. It's, it's hard to believe that any survivor would pull a Brian Williams. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that <was> serious. Brian <laughs> Williams. It's hard to be like, yeah, that's, that's a fact. <laughs> but leaving it up to administrative decisions fans. also isn't smart. Yeah. The administration treats sexual assault hearings like the infamous dressed. 
Everyone has an opinion before they've heard any of the facts. They debate it over the course of a few days, and then they totally forget about it. In honor of slowing progress, the band forms a perfect union between bloggers and admins and plays happy together. <laughs>